Greetings, travelers, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Tactics Ogre The Night of Lotus. This time we are taking a look at Path B, the Crypt. So let's continue. Is Richter in there? Ivana, what is this place? It's a crypt for members of the Batral family. Our ancestors are sleeping here. However, Uncle Neris ordered this place sealed after my father died. That was... my sister Militia. That girl? I thought I noticed a resemblance. But it's impossible. My sister Militia passed away seven years ago. I didn't believe my eyes at first, but that couldn't have been her. This is where the Sacred Spear is hidden. Let's hurry, I'm worried about Richter. That's right, Commander Lasanti. That summer we were... That summer, a black fragment on the beach with you. Commander, please remember. Think back to the surroundings, everything you saw back then. In the castle, I dropped it. It was you. All this time, I was searching for it. Human, the sacred spear is mine. Return it to me at once. No, stay away. I heard about Militia's death, but thinking about it was too difficult. There's one thing I know for certain. You are not her. You, do you deny me? So be it, if that is the case. That's it. Give me the Black Fragment. It's exactly as Cravanta said. The fragment will serve as my guide. Lord Patrol, you've known all along. I don't know what you're talking about. Your nearest patrol? Alphonse, don't give it to him. I'll deal with him, so hide somewhere safe. Kid, do you dare stand in my way? I have an important mission, to return this piece of the spear to its original owner. But, you came all this way. It would be a shame for you to die without witnessing its power. Lord Neris, what are you doing? Ah! Yeah, wonderful voice acting, I has not. Ha 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 ha! I can feel it. The power! What is that? This? It's the missing piece. A fragment from the sacred spear, Longicolus. A while back, a pair of wizards, twins, came to me and told me that a person of great significance is sleeping in the northern mountains. His name is Shahar. He is an archangel, a disciple of God who fought for humans during the ogre battle. By resurrecting him, I'll be granted immeasurable power. E Egomaniac. Megalomaniac. Yeah, that's that's better. Megalomaniac. And this battle is uh, honestly just a pain. It it really there's no other way to describe it. It is one of the hardest battles in the game. And of course, it is on path <laughs> uh B. 
as it always is. Let's see, I want to br go ahead and bring my Mooshus along because I think I'm going to need the extra. Neris, I'll destroy your evil dream. Now, as always, like in the path A, you want to go for the Ring of the Dead there. And I'll explain more of its significance as I put Orison in a bad spot. Oh well, that's recoverable. I'll explain more of its importance once we actually get to what I'm going to do with the Ring of the Dead. But for the time being, we're going to try to take out some enemies here. There are four knights, two knights, and a cleric accompanying Neris. And Neris himself is hard enough to deal with. There are some incredibly powerful enemies on this map. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Keep her somewhat away from harm for the time being, at least. Yvonne needs to get down here pretty quick, though. Now, Neris has a nasty uh, spell on him. And you do not want to be caught up in it. It is absolutely deadly. Uh, trying to decide where I want people to be. And I will be taking advantage of a lot of the spells that my two spell weavers have. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Alphonse should be safe. Now next turn I'll go over the drops and what every character has. Why do you seek power? Isn't it obvious, kid? Power is everything in this world. Negotiation, treaties, those are tools for the powerless. Just look at my brother, William. Because of his incompetence, he was afraid to fight and gave in to Lotus. But as a result, he saved many people's lives. Could you have guaranteed victory if you'd fought? Power is not a toy. Silence. Lodissians like you would never understand. What remains for the powerless? Look at the people on this island. They have no honor. They have lost their former pride. Soon, it will all be mine. No one can stop me. And, quickly to review what these characters have. Neris. Oh, Neris. That, spe that uh, talent right there. Hell's Gate? Yeah, you don't want him to use it. It is absolutely deadly. He actually will end up dropping the uh, bloody cleaver there, which is actually a pretty nice weapon if you ever find somebody that likes wielding axes. Most characters don't like axes. Uh, this guy here will drop that sword, Le the Leviathan, which is a nice sword, actually. The knight here... Not knight, duke knight. Uh, I believe... A, heal a healing salve, so he's not too terribly important. Um, actually, I may be getting my Duke Knights messed up. No, no. Okay, one of them, one of these two Duke Knights, one drops a, a salve, one drops a sword emblem. So those two aren't terribly important. This one will drop, I believe. Yeah, that sword of Tiamat. This knight, um, I actually. I believe it's a magic self that that one drops. Oh, keeping track of these knights. Uh, okay, one of them drops a Tome of Discipline, one is a magic salve. The priest here will actually drop a um, 
Not a spell, but a scroll. Now remember, scrolls are one-time use items, so... Eh, not terribly useful, but... They have their uses. Uh, anyway, she drops, um... Uh, reincarnation, which will change a character from undead to living once again. And yeah, with these Duke Knights here and how much damage they can do, it is very important, in my opinion, to have a good offensive game plan in place, namely, you fare. And Elric to a slightly lesser extent. But considering that you fare can do significantly more damage than anybody else. Let's see. Yeah. Plenty of damage. Let's see. Um, 36 versus... Oh, wait, who's... Yeah, that should be doing quite good. Actually, I want to prevent you fair from being caught up in an attack, so... Probably a good idea to do it. go ahead and do... Yeah, very good idea, because that's a dead Duke Knight. Now, hopefully, nobody moves up there. Didia. Oh, and somebody may have noticed that I am not using uh, fluid magic on my um, dragon. That's because fluid magic is ineffective. I think I'm going to keep him back for now. Concentrate on casting Resurrection if I need to. Uh, keep him back as well. Yeah, in my turn. Okay, good. He hasn't used it yet. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Yeah, this battle can get a little bit on the interesting side if you're not prepared. Because Duke Knights can do a ton of damage very, very, very quickly. Wow, I cannot... Good. And that's another dead, dead Duke Knight, so... Let's take advantage of that. Good. And that was the Duke Knight with the healing salve. Okay. Well, you don't have enough MP. And you can get behind the knight. Good. That dragon is not doing nearly as much physical damage as I would like, but, eh, getting the job done. Prevent things from being picked up from by somebody that you don't want them picked up by. And I think I'll have Eleanor start going after that priest just in case.
this should deal some pretty good damage. I think I'm in the right spot. Yep. Well, not a dead knight, but eh, some damage. Now, I believe Neris will actually have something to say to, um... Ivana, if he, if he attacks her or she attacks him. But I'm gonna see if I can save that from later. Right now, she's gonna protect Ivana, uh, you fair. Did you fair take some damage? No, she didn't. Move him a little bit closer just in case I need him, and yeah, time to end my turn. And Neris is on the move, of course. Oh, critical damage. Ah, uh, please, no. I can make up for that, but oh my goodness, that is not good. Uh, dealing over 200 damage in a single attack. Try to avoid getting that on Eleanor. Unfortunately, I didn't. Uh, did you do? Oh, just... just shy. Okay. Actually, he can go ahead and pick that up, and... Like I said, it's a great idea. I'm emphasizing this too much, but Yufei really is that powerful when you give her the chance. And I kind of, kind of want to get her out of the way as well a little bit. Bring in the dead. Uh, won't kill. And let's see if. That'll get close. And she'll probably retreat to heal herself. I think that's the better option, actually. Let's see. You have 35 HP remaining. Let's see if we can take her out with uh, Ivana, because taking out healers is... Uh, it's worth the risk. Didn't do it. Oh well. Ouch. And how's everybody down here doing? I'll probably actually want to heal the Mooshoos there, because he's taking a surprising bit of damage. That Duke Knight's about to get... <laughs> At the same time that I'm kind of hoping that uh, Neris shows his very powerful ability, I'm also hoping he doesn't. Eh, if I split it up, it's not going to kill either one, but that's a significant amount of damage. I think I'll just go, go for taking out one. That's taken care of. And 
Yeah, heal heal the Mushus. And that should be it for my turn. Okay. This guy with the bow has to go. Because he's dealt a little too much damage to uh, you fare for me my, for my liking. Not gonna kill him yet. Okay, but you are close, good. Come on. Yes, that's what I wanted to do. And I'll see if I can take care of this knight right quick, because that healing is getting annoying. I probably don't even need that. Let's see what uh, just a regular attack does. Not quite. But I think Ivana can get to her. Yeah, actually, no, she can't. Because that's going to miss. Oh, no. I'm not remembering terrain advantages like I should. One fewer healers. I don't think he, yeah, neither one of them are close enough to you fair to do anything to her. So. Move to the right spots. You fair is in a little bit of danger from that Duke Knight with the bow up there, but eh, shouldn't pose that much of a threat. I should be able to take that Duke Knight out, except that I don't have anywhere near enough MP. So, just do this. Rats, put, put the dia asleep. Um, mm, HP is nothing to worry about right now. My controller slips again. I don't know why she has to she feels that she has to fly there. I'm pretty sure Oh well, whatever. It gets the job done. Uh do do fair has plenty of MP, so let's about finishing this guy off. Yep. No point revi uh, reviving. Yeah, not really much point cleansing the Mooshus. Good. Gaining some good levels. Ah, uh, did to do what kind of hits? Yeah, his hit points are high enough to be a bother. 
So, oh, I don't even have cleansed. I forgot I unequipped that. But dealing enough damage to Mamushus that I don't like how that's going. I wonder if I'm in right the right range to do this. I'm gonna try. A spell that I don't find particularly useful, but uh, a distraction nonetheless. And it's interesting to watch at least, as long as it works. And it's gonna hit the Mushus. Oh. I forgot it walks through allies, apparently. It's been forever since I've used that move, honestly. Not a big fan. As you can see, the damage output is kind of low. Uh, yeah, my knight can take that. Uncle Neris, tell me truthfully, did you kill my father? Oh, Ivana, so nice to have you home. Your father, my brother, was an ordinary man. But because he was born before me, he became Duke of this region. You? He was a kind man. Surely he received his love, too. Compassion alone is not enough, especially when you're a leader. Lotus demanded that we renounce our faith, pay them taxes, and send our youngest sister to them to guarantee our cooperation. Nykaur did not put up a fight or even attempt to negotiate. He was a fool. That's why I killed him. We couldn't afford to lose everything because of his incompetence. Yeah, and that was going to reduce her chance to hit. Oh well. Worth it for a little bit of dialogue. Mm, probably is going to be worth it to use Atropos. Or... Nope, probably not actually. Probably going to have to use a lot of summoning spells against him. Well, he woke up my Mushus. I'm pretty sure he's resistant to paralysis, but... A distant attack. A wrong way, actually. I don't want to, uh... Potentially get in the way of, uh... My powerful summoners. Namely, you fair. Beating down, down Neris does take a while. His class is uh, quite a powerful one. You is moving across the battlefield quite a lot, and she does not have enough for. Question is, do I want to spend time? Yeah, I do. Because honestly, I don't do enough damage with uh, my physical attackers. Yes, this, this battle is significantly more difficult than the Path A battle. And we have yet to see the real plot twist of this story. I kind of like the, um, how they used Ivana's dead sister, Richter's fiance, to to set up a good bit of plot. I actually, uh, I mean, it it's genius, really, when you think about it. It's using... Using it that way, but, uh... Well, we're gonna find out what else Shahir... The twins and Neris seem to have...
believe, as the story progresses. Yeah, Ice Field is a guaranteed hit. This should be the last turn. Yep, and there's the reincarnation scroll. Like I said, the difference between scroll and spell is scroll is a one-time use. I kind of wish that reincarnation was a spell instead, but you get what you get. And you can get reincarnation in quest mode. It is a fairly high-ranked item, though, so kind of hard to get at times. Good. Moving right, right along. Uh, check his level. He's fine not to cast another heal for just experience points. And let Ivana have revenge for her father's death. And level up. And cave exploration.